urge to contact crime stoppers. Another girl has gone missing today. As many as 20,000 women have been sold so far into Greece's alarmingly booming sex trade industry. It astounds me that not only does human trafficking exist on the earth today, but that there are actually more slaves than there've ever been before in the history of humanity. It's almost incomprehensible when you think about it. A quarter of the estimated two million trafficked women annually in the world are smuggled out of Central and Eastern Europe. Often when you hear a statistic, it can just seem like a, a number, not a person. I've heard it said that a million is just a statistic until you meet the one. Well, for me, I met that one, Lilia and all of a sudden human trafficking was no longer an impersonal statistic. It became a person. It had a face, it had a name. Most importantly, it suddenly had a voice. I'm Lilia. I grew up in a small town in Bulgaria. When I was 16, my father lost his job. Our family was struggling. We were starving. So I had to look for work. That is when I met Amelia. She told me her cousin owned a hair salon in Greece and that she would get me a job there. It was my dream to become a hairdresser. Amelia arranged everything. I said goodbye to my family and boarded the plane to Greece. When I arrived in Greece, Amelia's cousin picked me up from the airport. He brought me into an apartment. That is when the nightmare began. He closed the door to the apartment and then he turned around. He told me he did not own a hair salon. He owned a brothel. But he had a job for me. He hit me. Then he told me that he knew where my family lived. And if I told anyone, if I did not work for him, if I tried to escape, he would kill my family. I cannot believe what people will do to one another just for money. Today, the reality is that Lilia is one of 27 million people trapped in slavery. Her life is not her own. As a sex slave, she is forced to toil in the shadows. She's hidden in plain sight. Day and night, her frantic pleas for help often go unheard. She's the long, lonely cry in the darkness that echoes across the earth 27 million times. Lilia could be your sister, your friend, or perhaps even your daughter. Because of the A21 campaign, girls like Lilia have truly found freedom, hope and restoration. The truth is, there are millions more crying out. I'm asking, will you listen to their cry? And together, we can all be her freedom.